Hello and welcome to another review from Optic Straight. Today I will do a review of Vortex binoculars, Vortex Diamondback HD 10 by 42. I'll start by introducing the company. Vortex Optics is a young manufacturer uh, with headquarters in the United States. Uh, they produce many optical devices uh, from more affordable models to the high end. They are especially known for their great price performance ratio of their uh, products and VIP warranty, um, which I will talk about more later. This is a new 2019 model, it's the third generation of these highly popular binoculars from the series Diamondback. Uh, when Vortex introduced genera second generation, uh, they made plenty of changes to the housing. Uh, the design of the second generation Diamondback is still among the more modern ones in the optical industry, uh, which is probably why Vortex chose not to uh, implement any aesthetic changes uh, with this recent uh, upgrade. The difference is uh, only... Um, seen on the outer uh, appearance um, that the Vortex uh, name is written here on the barrel. Um, the older models had Diamondback written here. Um, Diamondback series is uh, one of the best-selling Vortex series of uh, binoculars. Uh, Products of, um, so products in the Diamondback HD series offer incredibly versatile binoculars that are hand friendly, waterproof, fog proof, uh, and also have great uh, optical features. The price performance ratio with these binoculars is the highest we've seen. Uh, you can choose between eight different models for different outdoor use uh, for hunting, traveling, hiking, bird watching. Uh, and so on. Um, so eight models uh, in the Diamondback HD series, uh, smaller models, we have eight and 10 by uh, 28, so more pocket binoculars. Then we have compact binoculars, eight and 10 by 32, full-sized like this one, eight and 10 by 42, and some bigger ones, 10 and 12 by 50. All the binoculars in the Diamondback HD series are made in China. They weigh, this model weighs around uh, 630 grams. Uh, it's quite light for this configuration. Uh, it's also funny because 10 power, so 10 by 42 model weighs approximately uh, 20 grams uh, less than the 8, uh, 8 by 42 model. Um, these are these are around 13.5 centimeters wide and 14.5 centimeters long. As you can see, because they are uh, of slim design, these house Schmidt Packen roof prison. Um, they have a nice and sleek design in this dark, really dark, almost black uh, green color uh, with some black features. They are fully waterproof and filled with argon gas. They are protected with rubber armoring, uh, which offers a comfortable grip, especially because of these dots on the side. The handling is quite comfortable. These are packed in magnesium housing um, with this ergonomic design uh, they lie perfectly in your hand, the barrels are slim. You also can see that uh, they uh, have these thumb rasters here on the back of the barrels, uh, so you can rest your thumbs uh, and to better secure your binoculars. They can be mounted on a tripod with this tripod adaptable screw here. You just unscrew this. Uh, screw uh, and you attach the adapter uh, and put them on a tripod. They have a decent field of view, 109 meters at 1000 meters. 
maybe more narrow field of view because of course of the magnification uh, 10. The crucial upgrade these binoculars uh, have is uh, with the optical part. Vortex now uses improved coatings for the lenses, uh, enhancing the image quality and performance also in the low light situations. Furthermore, we notice that the edge sharpness is also slightly improved. Uh, HD basically means uh, improved optics. Um, so these binoculars have a sharp and bright image, uh, sharp in the center. The edges are a bit blurry, but um, improved for, from the older model. Uh, that's, there's also very minimal chromatic aberration, but that's to be expected. Um, when you look at the price. Uh, this Diamondback 8 uh, by 42 um, model is recommended for bird watchers, uh, sorry, 10 by 42 uh, is recommended for uh, bird watchers that are observing larger birds in open areas, uh, such as on the sea, lakes, and large fields, um, and also for hunters who um, observe from the stands in the woods, forests, or in the mountains uh, when the object is far away and they need to inspect the details. These binoculars have big central focusing knob for central focusing. Uh, the knob has ripped surface uh, for easier adjustments. The turning is hard enough so there I don't think there's any fear of accident, accidental turning. It's also nicely positioned. Uh, you can turn it with a finger when you're holding binoculars with one hand. Uh, it also has here logo printed on it and the uh, name uh, Diamondback HD so you know that these binoculars are from the new HD series. The diopter adjustment can be done with this knob here. Uh, it's placed on the right eyepiece. The turning also seems uh, quite hard because you adjust your diopter only once. Um, the eye cups are twistable. They offer two click stop positions. They are turned down for uh, user who wear glasses. Although we tested these binoculars with um, eyeglass wearers and the viewing was a bit hard uh, due to the insufficient eye relief, we also noticed uh, the problem with uh, use of uh, with glasses uh, in some smaller 32 millimeter um, models. Um, the eye cups can be also stopped at any in-between position, so um, like anywhere in the middle, um, and they don't easily move out of that uh, of, out of their position. Uh, the rubber is soft; it seems quite durable. These binoculars have included new glass pack harness. Uh, which is a great Vortex uh, accessory. It also can be uh, bought individually. Um, this is a great harness for uh, to keep your binoculars close to your chest, to have your hands free. Uh, you also get, so this is included, the uh, harness, actual harness, uh, and of course the uh, instruction on how to um, attach attach the strap to your um, um, case uh, and secure it uh, to your chest. There's also instructions in English, padded neck strap uh, to put your binoculars around your neck, rubber eyepiece covers so you can protect your eyepieces. There's also rubber objective lens covers um, 
they can be attached on the barrels. This is quite a nice feature so you don't lose them. They seem of nice quality also. They have a Vortex logo printed on it. Cleaning cloth, basic cleaning cloth. And of, of course I have to talk about the special Vortex VIP warranty, which is basically they will repair or replace any defective or damaged product for free for the lifetime of the uh, series. So this is unlimited, unconditional and lifetime warranty. So to sum up this review, these are great binoculars for uh, detailed observations, maybe not suitable for uh, beginners, but for more experienced users because of the 10 power magnification, the image can get a bit um, uh, shaky. Nice, sleek design, compact. Uh, these are also quite light for this configuration. The image is satisfying, it is vivid, sharp. Uh, all of this, is, considering the price, all of this is quite nice features. So the price is 259 euros. Uh, it's a great option for, um, so uh, entry price class for uh, bird watchers and hunters who like to expect, uh, inspect more details. Of course, the amazing uh, feature of this is also VIP uh, warranty. I do have to point out some bad things, although um, I, I didn't find anything uh, worth mentioning here. Uh, maybe field of view could be a bit wide, wider, especially um, comparing them to competitors. Uh, as I said, it's uh, 109 meters at 1000 meters. But overall, these binoculars are a great buy for someone on the budget. Uh, and are suitable for any users uh, who wish to have more detailed image. So thank you for watching this Vortex Diamondback HD review. If you found this is, uh, video useful, please give us a like, subscribe to our YouTube, chan YouTube channel and see you next time. Bye.